Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show that celebrates everything there is to experience right here in the Lone Star State. You know, the telecommunications industry has definitely tenfolded in Texas over the years. Nowadays, just about everyone, in fact, everyone has got a cell phone they're either talking or texting on. But we found a man who was really into his old school telephone tech. So we headed out to his little museum out in the middle of McGregor. Along a residential road in the rural community of McGregor sits the home of Moe Bradley. Now there's not much that makes Moe's home really stand out, except for a sign that looks somewhat out of place. But if you decide to pull over and pick up the call to come here, you'll get dialed in into some digit history. Mr. Spradley? Yes, sir. Hey, we hear you got a phone call we need to answer. You sure do. <laughs> I got them on hold over there for you. Over here? All right, yeah. let's go check it out. The number of phones in Moe's massive collection will make you want to put your travels on hold while you browse the big boxes and really old ringers. But I, I like to go back to the basics. It's, uh... Something I enjoy. For 71 years, Mo has called McGregor home, the third generation of Spradleys to be settled here. Like his father before him, Mo worked for the phone company. Not good at nothing, but I can fix most near anything. His 30 years of service is 10 years and one day less than his father Ed worked for the Baby Bells. But as the dial went to digital, Mo figured it was time to hang it up. Don't you want to stay around for picture phones? Now, so let me tell you something. I have a hard enough time making them sound good on the telephone. I sure can't make them look good. <laughs> <laughs> that left Mo more time to take care of his phone collection, a project that started when a family friend and fellow phone fixer named Frank Ross donated his equipment to the Spradleys so they could start a museum. He thought that this stuff ought to be put in a museum and a place to show and one day it's gonna be obsolete, and he was absolutely right. Now the collection did come with one stipulation. You, you personally, yourself, cannot uh, sell it, give it away, and you're laughed at. Mo agreed, and since 1978, the phones have silently told their story. It takes them back, I don't, I just can't believe it. Just don't ask Mo to pick up, I mean, pick out his favorite. Uh... But telling stories to the generation that has never known what it's like to have a hardwired line is his love. But some of them can ask some pretty serious questions. Where's the dial? Where's the push button? You couldn't walk away? I said, you could walk as far as that card was long and that was the end of the hunt, you know. A few of these phones date back to the 1800s and some have unique first of their kind capabilities. Some telephone men just soldered this on here. Okay. So when your phone rings, see it, you put this rod in here. If you left the house, went somewhere and come back, and while you was gone, it rang, you can watch that thing fall right there, when it? Huh. I knew there was a call. So you come in and look, say, well, hang on, somebody gave me a call while I was gone. Caller ID without the ID part. Yep. Caller. Just pick it up and call the operator and say, who called me? And like I say, if anybody knew in town what was going on, she did. Ever wonder how people paid over the phone prior to Touchstone? A lot of people ask me that since, how does that operator know what you put the right money in there? So, well, she can hear from that tone. she tell you to deposit 40 cents. You know, you, you can hear the difference different tone on that one, mm -hmm. and you put in the nickel, huh. and then I like the dime. Ah, it double hits twice, yeah. Ain't that something? That's amazing. Never has the sound of a ringing phone been music to a man's ears. Oh, that's until we met most Bradley. If you call me, I'll get back around to calling you. <laughs> as long as he can pick up, he'll continue to tell the story of the simple phone just to get through to those who have never had to ask for the operator. Just don't ask him to send you a text. These new cell phones they're talking about, some of them, what, $800 or something? 
Hmm. Something else, huh? I believe I'll save on my dollar two ninety eight. Yeah, yeah, you like your nine nine cent phone there? Yeah. <laughs>